Milankovitch cycles are regular changes in Earth's climate over tens and hundreds of thousands of years that are caused by shifts in Earth's orbit. They are named after Serbian scientist Milutin Milankovic, who proposed such cycles in the early 20th century. Since the 1970s, when the theory was revived on a firmer scientific footing, much research effort has gone into investigating various indicators of ancient climate, paleoclimate, in the geological record to see if Milankovitch cycles are real and, if so, what aspects of Earth's long-term climate they control. Although they, there is an agreement among the majority of just geophysicists and paleoclimatologists that Milankovitch cycles account for many changes in the climate record, the theory continue, continues to be challenged. Milankovitch realized that because two-thirds of Earth land is located in the North Hemisphere, insulation, remember, amount of sunlight, in the hemisphere should dominate the occurrence of warm and cold climate periods. After years of hand calculations, Milankovitch concludes that changes in the tilt of Earth axis and the shape of this orbit around the Sun should produce ice ages on 23,000 year, 41,000 year period and 100,000 year cycles. There are three major factors that contribute to Milankovitch cycles. Precession of Earth axis, oblique with a third of axis and change eccentricity of Earth orbit. To understand that those two are the can influence climate, it's necessary to know the basic motions of Earth. So the first one is eccentricities. The path of the Earth's orbit around the Sun is not a perfect circle, but an ellipse. This elliptical shape changes from less elliptical, nearly a, cir a perfect circle, to more elliptical and back, and this is due to the gravitational field of neighboring planets, particularly the large ones, Jupiter and Saturn. The measure of the shape's deviation from being a circle is called eccentricity. That is, the larger the eccentricity, the greater is the deviations from the circle. Thus, in terms of eccentricity, the Earth orbit undergoes a cycle changes from less eccentric, eccentric to more eccentric and back. One complete cycle for this kind of variation lasts for about 100,000 years. Axial tilt. We know the Earth is spinning around its own axis, which is the reason why we have night and day. However, this axis is not upright, rather, it's tilt at angles between 22.1 degrees and 24.5 degrees and back. These angles are measured between the angle of the axis to an imaginary line normal or perpendicular to the Earth's planet of orbit. A, comple a complete cycle for this axial tilt lasts for about 41,000 years. Great tilt this means that the hemisphere close to the sun, during the summer, we experience a large amount of heat that when the tilt is less, in other words, regions in the extreme upper and lower hemisphere we experience the hottest summer and the coldest winter during the maximum tilt. Procession. Aside from the tilt, the axis also wobbles like a top. A complete wobble cycle is more or less 26,000 years. This motion is caused by tidal forces from the sun and moon. Precession as well as a tilting are the reasons why regions near and at the poles experience very long nights and very long days at certain time of the year. For example, in Norway, the sun never completely descends beneath the horizon between late May to the late July. The Milankovitch cycles are among the arguments fielded by the traitors of global warming concept. According to them, the Earth's current warming is just a part of a series of cycle events that take thousands of years to complete, and hence cannot be prevented.